Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The Sales Orders window is used to enter amounts of goods or services that the customer agrees to buy, but which are not shipped and invoiced immediately. Remember, entering sales orders does not impact the amounts in the Accounts Receivable General Ledger account. You would start by selecting the customer ID of the customer for whom you are creating the sales order. Then you can enter the sales order number, which is the sales order number assigned to the transaction. You will also enter the sales order date and the ship by date. You should see the billing address of the customer appear within the form. If the billing address is different from the shipping address, you can enter the shipping address here as well. You may also notice a small checkbox for Close SO. You can check this box to manually close a sales order if needed. Otherwise, it will automatically check itself once all the items from a sales order are shipped and invoiced. Below that, the Customer PO, Ship Via, Terms, and Sales Rep assigned to the customer record should all appear. You can use the Accounts Receivable Account drop-down if displayed to select which account the sales order will debit when the items are shipped. Next, you fill in the line item area below with the information about your items sold. The quantity field indicates how many are ordered. The shipped field indicates how many were shipped on previous invoices. The item field shows the item ID of the item within the inventory. The description shows the associated description for the selected item or you can also type a line item description if needed. The General Ledger Account field, if displayed, shows the associated income account affected by the sale of that particular line item. When ordering items not in inventory, it will be the customer's default sales account. It can be changed if needed. You also need to check and or set the unit price, tax, and amount for each line item. You also enter the total amount of freight and set the tax amount. The sales orders total will appear in the sales order total field. Now starting in 2005, the customer account information also appears in the lower left corner. This box will show the selected customer's balance, credit limit, and credit status as of the current date. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.